guys, it's Megan Gallagher here. So today I am so excited because I'm at Sage Hill High School in Newport Beach and I'm about to speak to some freshmen, so come along. A little bit about anxiety. For me, my anxiety started when I was three years old before I could even talk. I, I was the child in every home movie just crying and feeling so anxious and I just wanted to be with my mom. I, and then when I hit freshman year of high school, when I was 14, it just escalated because for me, my trigger was change. And the change from middle school to high school, holy cow, like <laughs> you guys are in it right now. I mean, that's so much. I literally remember feeling like I was just, I, I'm like, I, I felt so anxious everywhere I turned because I felt the bombarding questions of, my grades, my body, my relationships, my friend group, these boys, this social media account, this person, my clothes, do I fit in, am I looking cute, and all this stuff. But I started having actual panic attacks in my freshman English class, my first one ever. And I remember I was sitting, my teacher was talking about Greek mythology in the book The Odyssey, and I was just trying to pay attention, but I wasn't aware that my thoughts were creating this physical kind of like, I felt like I was dying, that hot, you get hot and sweaty and shaky palms and your stomach kind of goes into a knot and you just feel like, what, is this it? Am I, like, am I really dying right now? And I remember like clutching the desk and the room kind of got tunnel vision and started spinning and it's a scary feeling. It wasn't until I started seeing a therapist when we actually started really getting to the root of why am I doing this to myself? Because we always, whether for me it was hereditary, so whether it is hereditary or not, for anxiety, we always get to choose what we think about all day long. The more that you do things over and over again, you start getting a habit, and that's what forms your life, the habits, the routines, the thoughts. So. When you do think lovingly and positive and kind and like, you know what, actually, today's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be so good and I'm not gonna base it off of what other people do or what happens outside of me. I'm gonna show up as my best self and it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be incredible because I have that attitude and that mindset and that's what I know is going to happen because I'm telling my mind already before school or work or hanging out with these people that it's gonna be amazing. And I'm gonna feel confident in myself and empowered in making choices that are best for myself.